You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Rock County's only free medical clinic is facing the possibility of financial failure after moving to a new facility just last year. Our Maddie Himes went to the clinic to find out why. Last year, the HealthNet CEO called the facility upgrade much needed. This year, the board president calls it a financial struggle. I've had a lot of sleepless nights trying to figure out how to keep the lights on and how to keep the doors open. President Michael Davis says there was great confidence in the organization after their capital campaign. The goal was to consolidate their services under one roof, serve more community members, and provide a more polished space to patients. What we didn't anticipate and what we probably lost sight of during the whole capital campaign was operational costs. Those costs and other factors that Davis calls a perfect storm have since affected the organization's bottom line. The once volunteer-only clinic has resorted to creating paid positions to sustain patient care, causing further spending. A number of grants have helped HelpNet keep its doors open through 2023, but with the new year approaching, Davis hopes they can find sustainable solutions. Not sure what the future of HelpNet will look like, but we are doing our best to make sure that HealthNet is here as the safety net it's meant to be for our community. HealthNet serves more than 4,000 patients, more than half of which live below the federal poverty line, and many who face chronic health conditions and can't afford lifetime costs. In Janesville, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now.